for a man that truly loves me, a man that I can trust. Then say yes. I want to believe everything that you said. I really do. Uh oh, is Sheila possibly not buying Bill's love sick act? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another bold and a beautiful review. So Bill is moving forward the, with the plan to make Sheila think that he's madly in love with her and wants to marry her in hopes of getting her to confess by giving her what she's always wanted, that love and support from someone. But it does appear that Sheila is not buying it. We also had Hope discussing her working relationship with Thomas today and the whole her calling him hot thing. Let's get into it. I've learned a lot in life. Things seem too good to be true. They are. So what's really happening here? Are you playing me for a fool? Bill? So Sheila is not as naive and gullible as they think she is. She is always thinking two steps ahead. So the question really becomes, who's really playing who now? Now, Bill was laying it on pretty thick, telling her how much he loved her and how much she changed his life and how much he wants her to have no secrets from him and she needs to stop holding back. Now, up until we got to that scene, it actually seemed like Sheila was going for it and was going to tell him, yes, she actually went into how she's fantasized about a moment like this. And I have to say, when Sheila goes into talking about how rejected she feels, you do feel, so I feel some empathy for her. You know, I've fantasized about this moment my whole life, wanting someone to love me and cherish me and hold on to me and not want to let go. But I've been abandoned and left behind most of my life, so I, I really gave up hope. So I definitely think writers try to give their villains a why. Why are they like this? Why do they do the things that they do? And with Sheila, it always comes back to always feeling rejected and wanting that love and acceptance. And it, this gives you a twinge of empathy for her. Now, you cannot overlook everything that she's done over the years. But when she goes off onto this, it does give you a twinge of empathy. Drop in the comments and let me know your thoughts. Do you feel any empathy for Sheila or you just can't look past all of the wrong she's done over the years? So, of course, the cliffhanger for today was her confronting Bill about whether or not he was playing her. We'll have to find out next week what happens with that. Now, some of the spoilers do make me think something comes to a head next week, and we'll talk about that later in the video. I, I love this fabric. You know, it, it, it holds, holds the, the back so nicely. nicely. I agree. I agree. It is elegant yet sexy, which is walking that line that I want us to walk. It's exactly what I want for the collection. I am so excited about this, this upcoming line. I mean, Thomas, I am. I'm really happy you're back. So do y'all get the impression they definitely want to drive home the point that Thomas and Hope are fully in sync with one another with this finishing each other's sentences and being so excited about the line. And they're definitely showing that Hope is really excited to be working with Thomas again. Now they've done this before where they've had Hope making googly eyes at Thomas and made it look like it was gonna go somewhere and she shut him down full stop when he tried to kiss her after the fashion show. So we shall see how they play this out this time. Also, drop down in your comments to let me know your thoughts on this, the designs. We've seen this dress and the pink one that a model was trying on the other day. So since we are getting a little fashion, let me know your thoughts on the look. So here are the daily spoilers for next week. Pause the video if you want to take a better look at it. But what stands out to me on Tuesday, Sheila and Bill's relationship takes a twisted turn. Hmm, that's interesting. And then on Wednesday, Sheila's new crazy scheme blindsides Deacon. So what does Sheila have up her sleeve? But then by Friday, it says, the Foresters and the Logans gather together, curious about Ridge's cryptic invitation. 
So if Ridge is showing himself again on Friday, would that mean that they have Sheila caught? Or is he going to tell everybody any everything? That will be interesting to see. Now, there have been pictures floating around with the new RJ. It looks like he is on set and filming. So I'm thinking that we will be seeing him pretty soon. Now, y'all know, usually when they bring RJ back, they use that as a bridge, no pun intended, to put Rook, Brook and Ridge back together. So we'll see how this plays out and what RJ's role will be this time. So drop down in the comments and let me know your thoughts on everything that's going on, the two big storylines, and the spoilers for next week. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like the video, share, and subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one.